Hello and welcome to the International Soccer Preview by Soccer Files Canada. I'm Kevin and we're continuing our look at the African Cup 2021 uh, players, the teams and players uh, of those teams. And today we're looking at Burkina Faso. So uh, just a note to uh, how we do this. And we uh, basically have files on the players and uh, we organize the players uh, into their likelihood of making the final squad here. So uh, we classify them into definite, likely, possible, possible but unlikely, and uh, players that seem to be off the team. Uh, and sometimes we're taken by surprise. We get a new player who's not in our file, so we will add him uh, when we see that they're on the final squad. Um, and for YouTube listeners, we have a simple graphic to uh, take us through this. Um, and uh, for audio listeners, we'll try to say the name, uh, especially of the ones who made the squad uh, three times or so, so that you can get familiar with them. And uh, if you want to skip all the details and just jump down to the, uh, say, last three or four minutes of the squad, we do a review and basically uh, overlook the players that we think are going to be the starters for the squad. So you could skip to that um, just to get an overview. All right, let's begin then uh, with the manager. And that is uh, Camu Malo. So Camu Malo is, um, Sorry, uh, is a Burkina Faso, uh, uh, from Burkina Faso. He played uh, professionally from 1981 to 92, but he didn't earn any international caps there. And he's been the manager of Burkina Faso since uh, 2019. I believe that was after they failed to uh, make the 2019 African Cup, which was a bit embarrassing because it was an expanded cup to 24 teams so uh burkina faso would expect to be among the top 24 teams in africa so uh, they were a bit embarrassed that they didn't make it but here they are trying to make up for it here uh, otherwise uh camu malo has coached uh teams just inside of burkina faso so um, um no experience outside anyway uh he will definitely be there and um um, we'll effectively have him as a starter. All right, let's take a look at goalkeepers. And we believe with, uh, sorry, we uh, begin with Irv Coffey or uh, Irv Kuaku Coffey. And he played uh, nine of their 10 games in 2021. So we consider him a definite candidate. Um, he is 25 years old and has been with Burkina Faso since 2016 and has 37 caps. So he plays for uh, Charleroi in Belgium and uh, before that played for Lille in France. And he was um, on the squad for the 2016 African Cup as the starting goalkeeper. So he seems to retain that position here. Uh, but we do have a couple of likely candidates. Uh, the first one is uh, Farid Uadrago Ua or Uadraogo. And he uh, first appeared on the bench in November 2020 and um, had his first cap in August 2021. And he played two of their games in 2021, but he was on the bench for seven others. So he looks like um, a likely candidate in terms of being a backup keeper. So he plays actually in Burkina Faso uh, for one of the teachers, uh, sorry, one of the teams that uh, Camu Malo managed uh, just before taking on the role of national team manager. It's uh, USFA uh, in Burkina Faso. And uh, he uh, is 25 years old, but just joined the team in 2021 uh, and has two caps. Uh, the other likely candidate is uh, Abubakar Sawadogo. So Abubakar Sawadogo didn't play any of their games in 2021, but he was on the bench for all 10 matches. So um, we think he is likely. He's 32 years old, and uh, but he's only been on the team since 2017, uh, but has earned uh, 17 caps in, in that time. 
uh, which is actually more than I expected, but uh, there we have it. So he plays for Duanes in Burkina Faso, uh, but he's also played in Saudi Arabia. And um, uh, we move on to one likely candidate, uh, Kilian Nikiema. Uh, sorry, I think I said likely there, but I meant possible. Uh, Kilian uh, Nikiema uh, had his first cap in September 2019, but then was off the team for two and a half years. Uh, but he returned in November. Um, he didn't play any of their two remaining games, but he was on the bench uh, for one of those. So actually, maybe um, I only put him as possible because it was uh, shortly before the tournament. But uh, I actually think he's unlikely uh, to make the team, although teams are bringing four goalkeepers, so there is a chance that he'll get in there. Let's uh, look and see who made it, and uh, I can make this uh, a, a quick story. All four of them have made it. So uh, Kua uh, Irv Kuaku Coffee uh, is the likely starter there. Uh, Farid Uadraogo and Abubakar Sawadogo and Kilian Nikiema all look like backup keepers um, there. All right, so that uh, is goalkeepers, and let's move on to defenders. And we begin with uh, Isufu Dayo as a central defender, who we consider uh, a definite candidate, or we're confident that he's going to um, he's going to be there. So. Uh, he played all 10 of their games in 2021. He actually scored uh, for three games in a row at the end of 2021, even though he's a central defender. Um, uh, I believe he scored three goals in World Cup qualifying too. But if he did, uh, that would make up his total six goals of his uh, international career. And he has 54 caps, so... Uh, if my information is right here, he's really become a scorer, a top scorer for the team in the in the um, last two qualifications. He's 30 years old and has been on the team since 2013. Um, and he plays in uh, Morocco for Burkane. He was a starter in the 2017 uh, African Cup. All right, that is uh, Isufu Dale, a, a candidate we consider definite. Next is Edmund Tapsoba. He's one of two players uh, called Tapsoba on the team. And uh, he is a likely candidate, having played six of their 10 games in 2021, but he was injured for the other four. Um, that must have been before the end, because I don't have him as an injury doubt here. He's uh, just 22 years old, uh, but has been on the team since 2016. Uh, and he has 17 caps and one goal. That means uh, he, he played his first cap uh, at 17 years old. And he's with uh, Bayer Leverkusen uh, in Germany, a big club there, and played in Portugal before that. So he really looks like an up-and-comer here and uh, is a likely candidate for central defense. Uh, the other likely candidate is Steve Iago. So he played seven, including the last uh, six of their, their 10 games in 2021. And he was on the bench for one of those and not selected for two. So he's 29 years old with 56 caps um, since 2013. He doesn't have any goals. Uh, he plays with Aris Limassol in Cyprus and was with uh, Ken in France before that. And I believe he's the first player so far who was in both the 2015 and the 2017 African Cups. He was a starter, basically a starter in both. In 2017, he didn't appear in game one, uh, but became a starter after that. Um all right, and uh, let's move on to uh, our possible candidate. That is uh, Sumeya uh, Uatra. So, 
Sumea Uatra had played none of their 10 games in 2021, but he was on the bench for eight games. Um, but he wasn't selected for the last two matches, so he's kind of on the edge there. Uh, 26 years old, he uh, earned his first cap in 2019, but only has four caps, and he plays for uh, Fos Rabat in Morocco, F-U-S Rabat. Uh, and played for Raja Casablanca before that, so um, in Morocco for the last little while. Okay, and uh, then we have a few candidates or a few historical players, which we'll deal with quickly. Uh, Muhammad Ouattara is possible but unlikely. Uh, just played one game in 2021. We'll come back to him if he's chosen. Uh, and Dylan uh, Ouadraogo, uh, last appeared uh, on the bench in November 2019. Uh, so quite unlikely there, even though he's 23 years old. And uh, Isuf Paro um, last appeared for the team in September 2019, but he was involved in the 2017 African Cup as a substitute. So we'll see uh, uh, about those players. And finally, someone who seems to be off the team um actually uh we i have uh uh sorry i have dylan uh Uadrogo and isuf paro as seemingly off the team and they are having last played in 2019. uh bakari kona though is a more historical player um he is 33 years old now and he had 83 caps between 2006 and 2019 and was involved in uh, uh, five of their African Cups, 2010, 12, 13, 15, and um, 2017. He was named to the, the team of the tournament in 2013 when they heroically finished in second place. Uh, however, he last appeared for the national team in March 2019, so a bit of a loss there. And we're going to see uh, that Burkina Faso has kind of lost a lot of those heroes from the 2013 African Cup, again, where they finished second. Okay, I'm just going to take a sip of water before I look at who actually made the squad here. All right, sorry for that little delay. Now, let's see who made it. And no surprise that uh, uh, Isufu Deo uh, made the squad, their uh, defender turned scorer. And uh, I guess he will be a starter. And um, Edmund Tapsoba, our likely candidate, also uh, selected. And I think he'll be a starter too. And um, I forgot to put it up on the graphic for you two people, but Steve Yago. And honestly, like uh, he looks like a starter too. So I don't know if they've been using a three-man defense uh, for a long time or whether one of them plays out of position. But they all play fairly regularly. Um, but just because I'm conservative, I'll put... Um, I'll put Steve Yago and Edmund Tapsoba as uh, as maybes here. I think it's uh, pretty likely that they'll be starters. Um, Suma, uh, Sumea Uatara also made the squad. I presume he'll be uh, more of a substitute uh, because that's what he was in 2021. And then uh, none of the others... Uh, have made the squad, so goodbye to uh, Bakary Kone. Uh, but hello to a new uh, player that was uh, brought in. Uh, and that player is Nasser uh, Jiga. Um, let me tell you a little bit about him once I get myself sorted out here. So Nasser Jiga... Um, has no caps for the national team, but appeared on the bench only in October 2021 and actually was on the bench for three of their four remaining games prior to the tournament. But he has no caps. He's 19 years old and he plays for Basel 
in Switzerland. So that's why he didn't make our radar uh, because he's got no caps. But there we have it. I imagine uh, Nasser Diga will be a substitute uh, there, but he looks like he has promise. Uh, okay, let's move on to left backs, and we begin with Patrick Mallow as a actually only as a possible candidate because uh, he played only one of their 10 games in 2021. However, he was on the bench for eight games, and um, uh, so it looks like he's um, kind of established on the squad. He's 29 years old, and he's been with uh, Burkina Faso since uh, 2015 and has 21 caps and no goals. And he also plays in Morocco for uh, Hassania Agadir, uh, in Morocco, and uh, has been in a lot of African countries here, Ivory Coast, Egypt, and Algeria, uh, as well as starting in Burkina Faso. So he was in the uh, 2017 African Cup, and he started the first two games, but then he uh, lost his starting position, um, uh, lost his starting position, and then just came in as a sub to game six. They made it to the semifinals, uh, and finished third in 2017. Part of the reason why they were so disappointed to not make the cup in uh, 2019. Okay, another possible candidate is Herman Nikiyama. So uh, Herman Nikiyama uh, played two of their games in 2021 uh, and was on the bench for six of those. So he's uh, actually uh, 33 years old. Uh, but he's only been on the team since 2017 and only has seven caps and one goal. So he plays for Salatas in Burkina Faso, and uh, we have him as a possible candidate. And the next, uh, the last possible candidate is uh, Ula Traore or Ula Adas Traore, and he played three of their games in 2021 and was on the bench for three of those, but not selected for the first four matches. So um, he is 26 years old and has been on the team since 2019. And like uh, Herman Nikiema, has seven caps. And uh, like Herman Nikiema, plays for Salatas in Burkina Faso, actually. And then one player that seems to be off the squad is Yakuba Koulibaly. So uh, Yakula Koulibaly did play two games in 2021, but he wasn't selected uh, for the last six matches. So uh, seems to not be being selected, but he's only 27 years old. Um, so, and he did play in the uh, African Cup 2017 as a starter. So uh, whatever the reason he was off the team at the end uh, there, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a comeback. He plays for Cartagena in Spain. All right, so that is uh, it for left backs. It looks like we don't have a, uh, a kind of a starting left back there uh, because uh, none of them have played more than three games. So it might be that uh, one of the uh, central defenders that we saw uh, comes across and plays in that position or... Um, but I don't see any of these as starters. But let's first see who actually made the squad. And it was uh, all three of our possible candidates. Uh, Patrick Mallow, um, Herman Nikiema, and Ula Traore. So all three of them making it. And I am going to um, code uh, Patrick Mallow as... Uh, a possible starter there even though he only played one game he was on the bench for all eight uh, for eight others well i suppose he or herman nikiema because they're about the same um but ula treora played uh, a few less honestly though it could be uh, any of them or it could be none of them because um there seems to be someone else filling that position Let's move on to right backs uh, with a, a definite candidate, which is uh, Isa Kabor. So uh, Isa Kabor played nine of their 10 games in 2021, and uh, he's 20 years old. He's been with Burkina Faso since 2019 and has um, 
16 caps and one goal already. And obviously a promising youngster because he is with Manchester City in England, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Uh, however, he has been on loan uh, to several teams, currently on loan to Troyes in France. So um, a lot of players go through Manchester City and don't necessarily uh, make the first team. Nevertheless, it's um, um, a sign of promise to be sure. Uh, and it looks like actually if he's on the squad here, he would be the starter because he has been. But we do have one more uh, candidate as a possible as a possibility. So uh, Seydou Simpor or Seydou Simpore played four of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for three others. So he's 29 years old and he's been with the team since 2013, but he has only 10 caps. He does have one goal. And he plays for Al Masri in Egypt. So it looks like he's had uh, trouble in his career really breaking into the squad, but um, a possible candidate here. So let's take a look and see who made it. And uh, both of them did. So Issa Kabor uh, will most likely be the starter there. And Seydou Simpor or Simpore in the um, supporting role. All right. So that's it for defenders. And we're going to move on to midfielders. And we'll begin with defensive midfielders. And we have one likely candidate in Gustavo Sanger. So Gustavo Sanger uh, actually earned his first cap in June and played uh, six of their remaining eight games. So he made it onto the squad uh, quite quickly. Uh, he's 25 years old, and those six caps, of course, are his only six caps. And he uh, plays for uh, Quevely Rouen in France. So a likely candidate. A possible candidate is uh, the much more well-known Charles Cabor. So Charles Cabor uh, was actually captain of the team in 2015 and 2017 African Cups. Um, I, I'm not sure if he still is captain of the team. Nevertheless, uh, he played four, uh, but the first four of their 10 games in 2021, but he wasn't selected for the last six matches yeah that's why i'm wondering if he's still captain i suppose uh, he's been around for a long long time uh, ever since uh, 2006 uh, he's uh, 33 years old right now and has 100 caps and four goals so he's become a centurion for Burkina Faso, and he was a starter as far back as 2010. I don't think they made the African Cup uh, for a while before 2010, but I'd have to confirm that. Uh, starter in 2012, um, well, basically he's been a starter all along, captain of the team, and he was named to the turn of the team of the tournament in 2017. <laughs> And, uh, of course, part of that uh, uh, second-place finishing 2013 squad. So uh, they will probably hope to have his services available, but as mentioned, he wasn't there for their last six games, so a bit worrying there because um, they're losing a lot of veterans here. Uh, the next candidate is is, is uh, Ismahila Uadraogo. So Ismahila Uadraogo uh, played four of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for four others. So he's uh, 30 years old, but only 10 caps uh, uh, there and joined the team in 2019, so a bit of a latecomer. And uh, he currently plays in, in Greece for Pau. Uh, but the Power B team in Greece. And then one uh, possible but unlikely candidate in Dramain Salou. So uh, he um, he just played one game in 2021. We'll come back, come back if he is selected. And let's just check uh, to see which of those players made it. So um, 
Yeah, sadly, uh, Charles Kabor uh, is not on the squad, so he may be, um, well, he's playing in Spain uh, still. No, let's see, he's playing, no, he's actually unattached right now, so I wonder if he's moving into retirement. He did play for Dynamo Moscow uh, until 2021. So a loss there, another loss of a veteran, but Gustavo Sanger, uh, did make the squad, and also uh, Ismahila Uadrogo uh, made the squad. So, um, uh, it's actually possible he, he would be a starter, but uh, I'm going to put Gustavo Sanger as a starter and Ismahila Uadrogo as a substitute, although he did play four games, so it is possible. But Gustavo Sanger seems more likely. Uh, it is possible, of course, that both of them uh, would be starters. But I'm just making uh, uh, predictions here as to as to who it's going to be. All right, let's go to central midfielders and begin with Adam Aguira. So he played eight of their ten games in 2021. So we consider him a definite candidate, or we have confidence that he will. Uh, be on the squad and he's uh, actually uh, same age as Charles Kabor, 33 years old and he's been with the team since 2010 and has 32 caps but nowhere near the uh, impact as Charles Kabor because uh, he was just on the 2015 and 2017 African Cup squads and barely got on the field just uh, a brief appearance in one game in 2017 and yet he seems to have established himself on the team now so uh, kind of has worked his way into the squad uh we go down to possible candidates now with brian dabo and brian dabo played six of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for one other uh, he also scored a goal on a penalty in qualifying and he's 29 years old, uh, but has only been with the team since 2018 and has 18 caps and two gold. And he plays for uh, uh, Seker Rizespor in Turkey and was in Italy before that, including a stint with uh, Fiorentina. Um, yeah, he's been with a lot of teams, but um, hasn't really made it onto the national squad. Um yet okay and we have uh, another possible candidate with draman uh, nikiyama uh so draman nikiyama played two of their 10 games in 2021 he's also quite uh, old at 33 and he's been with the team since 2012 but only has uh, six caps in that time he plays in guinea and uh, maybe um a bit more likely than, than Brian Dabo and Tremaine Nikiema is uh, Blatty Toure or Ibrahim Blatty Toure. Uh, he returned after a two year absence in September to play four of their remaining six games and was on the bench for the two others. So it looks like they kind of brought him back into the squad. He's 27 years old and has 23 caps since 2017. And he plays for uh, Eskil Stuna in Sweden, but uh, has played in Portugal and Spain and Cyprus uh, in the past and France. Uh, he was actually born in the Ivory Coast. And uh, he appeared in the 2017 African Cup. He, uh, he subbed into game three and then uh, gained a starting position after that. Uh, as mentioned, they did reach the semi-finals, so um, they had uh, uh, they had seven games there, so he played the last four. Uh, okay, and then a couple of names to mention, possible but unlikely, is Sibiri Sanu. Um, he just played one of their games in 2021. And then uh, off the squad, uh, and not that they ever really made it on, but Abdul uh, Bandaogo and Basiru Com uh, Compeore um, just 
just kind of had a short stint on the squad. They're both 23 years old, so we may see more of them in the future. But let's see. Maybe they made the squad this time. And let's go over the players to see. So Adam Aguira, uh, no surprise, our definite candidate, uh, made it. And uh, Brian Dabo did not make it, but uh, Ibrahim Blati Toure uh, did make the squad. And so did Tremaine Nikiema. And that's it. None of the others mentioned. So I'm going to say uh, Adam Aguera looks like a starter there. And uh, because he came in late and kind of stuck, I'm going to put uh, Blatty Toure as a possible. Uh, to be honest, uh, there's usually more than one central midfielder uh, starting. Uh, Jermaine Nikiema um, only played two of their games in 2021, so I'm going to have him as uh, a bench player. All right. Uh, now, left midfielders. Uh, there are none, no players coded as left midfielders or as right midfielders. However, we do have left and right wingers. And let's begin with uh, left winger Zachariah Sanogo. So Zachariah Sanogo, uh, we consider a definite candidate uh, because he played all 10 of their games in 2021. And um, he scored a goal in uh, World Cup 2022 qualifying uh, when they uh, managed a 2-2 draw in Algeria. He's 25 years old and uh, has been on the team since 2017 and has 20 caps and one goal but uh, really seems established in the team right now. He plays for um, Ararat Armenia uh, in Armenia, uh, kind of an interesting uh, country to be playing in. Uh, but he, uh, he was loaned out from his Burkina Faso club uh, to teams in Austria and France. So he has been uh, abroad in Europe. Uh, next uh, candidate is Hassan Bandi, who we consider a likely candidate. Uh, although he returned, uh, he was gone for three years off the squad. Uh, he returned in March and went on to play seven of their ten games and was on the bench for one other. So uh, he's 23 years old, a, a kind of an exciting uh, candidate here. But even though he's 23, he's been on the bench since uh, 2015. So another player who started at 17 years old. And he uh, he has 12 caps in that time. So there was that three-year absence uh, playing into that number of caps. However, he's with uh, Ajax in Netherlands, a fairly big club. But he has lo uh, been loaned out. Uh, by Ajax and is currently on loan to Istra 1961 in Croatia. That's the name of the club, Istra 1961. So uh, we consider uh, Hatain Bandi a likely candidate, uh, but an unlikely candidate is Kwame Botu. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Kwame uh, Botue. So. Um, No, I, I think uh, this is a possible candidate. Um, sorry, I'm just um, looking it over here and seeing that uh, his first appearance was on the bench in September 2021, and he played three of their remaining six games uh, and was on the bench for one, but he wasn't selected for the last two matches. So um, that's not unlikely. That is uh, possible. And he's just 21 years old uh, with those three caps that he earned in 2021 and plays for Ajaccio in France or Ajaccio. Not sure how to pronounce it. Another player born in the uh, Ivory Coast, by the way. So that's Kouame uh, Botoué. And uh, let's see which among these left, mid they, these left wingers uh, made it. And ooh, I'm glad I moved Kouame Botue up to possible because he was selected, uh, as were the other two. So Zachariah Sanogo, 
who um, I think will be the starter. And uh, Hassan Bande, uh, he did play seven games in 2021. So I'm going to put him as uh, quite possible as a starter. Uh, but Botue will just have on the bench. Uh, still quite young there, so maybe makes an appearance from the bench. Uh, and because we're, we're, we're um, I'm looking at two left wingers who are potential starters, uh, it could be that they have played in different positions in 2021, so playing out of position. Uh, let's see what we have for right wingers. Maybe one of them plays over there. So for right wingers, we have one likely candidate in Eric Traore. Uh, Eric Traore played five of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for two others. And uh, he's 25 years old, uh, has been with the team since 2014, but never selected for a tournament. And he has uh, 14 caps uh, and one goal since 2014. So playing on average a couple of games a year. But a little bit more in 2021. Uh, he plays for Pyramids in Egypt. And we have two uh, possible candidates, Cyril Bayala. So uh, Cyril Bayala uh, played three of their 10 games in 2021, including the last two. Always a good sign going into a tournament. And uh, he is 25 years old and has been with the team since 2013 and has 30 caps and three goals. But he wasn't selected for the 2013 or 15 African Cups. Uh, and in 2017, he was selected, but just uh, uh, played as a substitute in uh, two games. So hasn't fully made it onto the squad and, and still hasn't, as he's only a possible candidate here. Um, let me see. Okay, uh, the next candidate is Abdul Tapsoba. So Abdul Tapsoba, um, I think I may have to move him up here. Um, uh, he earned his first cap in June and played six of their remaining nine games in 2021 and was on the bench for one other. And he's just 20 years old, um, but has uh, in those six caps, he has four goals uh, already. And all of them were scored in 2022 World Cup qualifying, which means in the second half of 2021. And he indeed was their top scorer uh, in 2022 World Cup qualifying. Um, he also scored in that 2-2 away draw in uh, Algeria. So uh, that probably raised his uh, chances a bit. And he does play for Standard Liège in Belgium. So I'm going to actually move him up to a likely candidate. I wouldn't even be surprised if he's a starter. But he has really stiff competition here because the next candidate... Uh, is uh, Bertrand Traore, and I'm, I have him as possible here, but um, if he's available, I would I would say he's probably likely or definite. Uh, uh, but I have him as possible because he played uh, just the first three games uh, in 2021, but he was not selected for the last seven matches, so his status uh, seems in a bit of doubt here. Uh, he's a really big player uh, for them. He's 26 years old, which is still quite young, and has been on the team since uh, 2011, and has 60 caps and 12 goals, does the 26-year-old. So he's played for some big clubs. Uh, he's with Aston Villa in England currently, and before that was with Lyon, and uh, before that Chelsea, where he was loaned to uh, Ajax in Netherlands. So some really big clubs there. He was actually... Uh, with the Chelsea Youth Club for part of his youth. Uh, and his uh, brother is Alain Triore, uh, who also played for the national team. He's the younger of the two. Um, and he played his first international game at uh, 15 years old. So, yeah, that's why he's been on the team for so long. Uh, he was part of the uh, 2012 African Cup, but just as a sub. 
uh, at 16 years old. But then he wasn't selected for their for their big second place finish in 2013, but uh, has been a starter since then in 2015. Uh, and 17. He was named to the uh, uh, to the team of the tournament, but he was also responsible for their uh, missing their last penalty in uh, the semi-final shootout with uh, Egypt. Uh, so a, a fairly storied uh, player there, um, but for some reason doesn't seem to be consistently with the team. So all he's almost feels like an injury doubt. Like he would definitely be a starter if he's there and um uh but then might not be there uh for whatever reason he missed all those games all right and then uh one of my favorite players from 2013 uh it seems to be off the squad now uh i've talked about them losing a lot of veterans and this is one of them jonathan petroipa um Actually, was uh, uh, with the squad longer than I uh, than I thought, and I won't uh, go on about him. But he's a very uh, storied player, also uh, with them since two thousand and six, uh, and uh, again a big player in that two thousand thirteen African Cup. In fact, he won the uh, Player of the Tournament uh, award there, uh, and. Uh, uh, quite a dramatic story in that tournament, which I won't get into. Um, and he was uh, uh, in the African Cup, but he just uh, played uh, two games. Sorry, this is 2017. Uh, just played two games and then got an injury, which ended his tournament. But he's 35 years old now. I was hoping to see him, but he last appeared for the team in November 2019. So I think we're saying goodbye to another veteran in Jonathan Petroika, uh, Petroipa. Uh, okay, let's see who made it then. We have a lot of uh, a lot of names here, and uh, okay, Eric Treore is uh, on the squad, and as uh, Abdul Tapsoba is also on the squad. So I almost see both of them as starters, but. I'll put um, Abdul Tapsoba uh, as a possible there. And uh, Cyril Bayala, I see him more as a substitute. And Bertrand Traore did not make the squad, but I'm going to check that because I, I, I have it in my head that he did. Yes, uh, okay, he did make the squad. And uh, as I said, kind of like with an injury doubt, now that he did make the squad, I'm, I'm going to move him up to, uh, um, well, I won't move him up to a definite, but I think he'll be definitely a starter. I actually see that he's the captain of the team here, uh, which is no surprise given his repertoire. But... Um, Again, I'm not sure why he missed seven games in 2021. So we have a whole bunch of players there who look like uh, starters, and I'm not sure how they're going to sort all of that out. I see uh, a couple of these guys may be playing as forwards, so we'll see what their forward line uh, looks like. Not only them, but we have one more uh, player who's coded as a right winger uh, in... Uh, Dango uh, Uatara. Uh, Dango Uatara. I'll put him as a substitute because he's just coming in. Uh, has no caps for the national team, but first appeared on the bench in November 2021 and was on the bench for both of their remaining two games before the tournament. So he's just 19 years, years old and... Um, uh, uh, probably coming in to get some experience, but it uh, doesn't look like he'll be a starter. All right, we'd better move on to the uh, forward line, beginning with attacking midfielders. And we have Abdul Razak Traore as a possible candidate. Uh, he's been around with the team for a long time, but only played the first two of their 10 games here and not selected for the last eight matches. So uh, almost possible, but unlikely there. Uh, but he's been around with the team uh, 
yeah, I think I'm going to move him down to uh, possible but unlikely because uh, he seems a bit like Charles Kabor. Um, he he's the same age. He's 33 years old. Has been on the team since 2011 and has 50 caps and four goals. And he currently plays in China, having played for several teams in Turkey before that. And he was on the team since uh, 2011 and uh, played all the tournaments uh, following that, but uh, never as a starter until 2017. So 2012, 13, 15, he was uh, a sub and uh, became a starter in 2017. However, you know, he seems to be moving into retirement here. So I'm a bit doubtful. I think he'll retire with uh, a lot of the other veterans, especially of 2013. Like the next candidate, Alain Traore, uh, um, brother of uh, Bertrand Traore, uh, who we have as a possible candidate, played two of their games in 2021, but not selected for the last seven. So I wonder if these guys are kind of all retiring at once, a bit of a golden generation uh, for Burkina Faso, but uh, uh, haven't been playing in the second half of the year. Uh, those seven matches, uh, those matches that Alain Traore and Abdou Razak Traore missed were all World Cup qualifiers. So um, uh, it's a bit sad to see them go. So uh, he's a real veteran too. He's 33 years old, just like Kabor and Abdul Razak Traore. Uh, Alan Traore has 65 caps and uh, 21 goals. A pretty good, uh, a pretty good record there. Has been on the team since uh, 2006, and he's involved in an interesting project, uh, the Arta Solar Seven project where uh, it's a team in Djibouti and I notice uh, quite a few or, or several um, veteran players uh, are uh, uh, have joined this team in Djibouti so it, it looks like a bit of a, a building project there and he's involved in that uh, which is cool uh, players from all different countries too uh, he's been on the team since 2012 and has basically been a starter uh, the whole time. And I won't go into uh, more detail on it, but um, enough to say that he's he's part of that um, almost golden generation for Burkina Faso. Um, we still have a couple of players to look at uh, from that generation. Yukuba Songni is possible... Uh, but unlikely. Um, and he's barely been on the team, so uh, we'll talk about him if he uh, if he appears. All right, well, this is an interesting group uh, of players, but ultimately three possible but unlikely players uh, attacking midfielders. And, yeah, sad to see uh, Abdul Razak Traore and Alan Traore go but uh, they are um, not selected here, so the the uh, end of a generation. And uh, Yakuba Songni was also not selected, so uh, all of that was just a kind of a, a wave of the past, as it were, because uh, none of the attacking midfielders we selected um, uh, none of them were chosen, which makes me think that there are some of the right wingers we uh, right wingers we talked about, Eric Traore, Abdul Tapsoba, or uh, Bertrand Traore will actually be playing in that attacking midfielder role. Okay, um, we don't have any secondary strikers or players coded as secondary strikers, so we'll move on to forwards. And uh, yeah, we are. Um, lacking a definite forward here so we have two likely candidates in mohammed konate played seven of their 10 games in 2021 and was on the bench for one other and um, he scored two goals in in the 2022 world cup qualifying but none in qualifying for this cup 
He's 24 years old and has been on the team since 2020 and has 11 caps and two goals. So I don't see him as a definite starter because I wonder if some of those right midfielders will actually be the starters. Uh, he plays for Akmak Grozny in Russia and has played for several teams in Russia. He also played in Armenia. I wonder if Burkina Faso has, has some uh, uh, kind of contractual connection with Armenia and has played in Belarus and Kazakhstan and Latvia. Wow, this guy gets around. Mohamed Konate. And we also have Lassina Frank Traore, uh, but he's an injury doubt. Uh, otherwise, he we, we had him at the likely level. Uh, he played five of their 10 games in 2021 and then got injured uh, for the last four. Um. So he's 20 years old, but he has been on the team since 2017, another 17-year-old, and he has 17 caps. And uh, I'd like to say 17 goals too, but it's not true. He only has seven goals, which is impressive enough. He plays for uh, Shakhtar Donetsk in the Ukraine and was with Ajax in Netherlands before that. So a pretty good uh, resume there. Uh, but again, an injury doubt. So we think he would be on the team if uh, if he's fit. We have two possible candidates with uh, Lamine Ouattara. So Lamine Ouattara uh, is uh, a, a possible candidate because he first appeared on the bench in November 2020 and earned his first cap in August 2021 and then played two of their remaining seven games, uh, but not selected for uh, five five matches either. So he's 23 years old and um, plays in Burkina Faso. And uh, our other possible candidate is Jibril Ouattara. So Jibril Ouattara is, uh, had his first cap in November 2021 and played their last two remaining games. Uh, he's also played in the local African Championship game. Uh, the African Championship is just for players who play in Africa. And he plays for Renaissance Burkane in Morocco. He's 22 years old. So a couple of possibilities there. But uh, here's where we have two more uh, of that golden generation who uh, I'm, I have a tear in my eye because I liked them. And the first one is uh, 37-year-old Bance, uh, Aristide Bans. So Aristide Bans. I won't go into too much detail, enough to say that he he uh, was an outstanding uh, figure of that squad, even if he wasn't always a starter. Um, but um, kind of a, a bit of an unusual uh, character, but had uh, a lot of charm to him. And... Um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail. He's played He's played for so many clubs and has played in so many tournaments. Uh, but the last time he played for the national team was in November 2019. So I think we're probably waving goodbye to uh, Aristide Bantz and also uh, Pre uh, Prejuice Nakulma. So these are huge losses for uh, Burkina Faso in terms of their success. So they really have to rebuild. Uh, he's an interesting character, Prejus Nakuma, because uh, he struggled to make it onto the team. Um, uh, in 2012, 13 and 15, he was just a sub. And then in 2017, uh, he was fabulous. Uh, uh, he, he was a starter by that time and scored uh, two of their six, two of their uh, eight goals. Um, but he really had an excellent tournament, and I think he was named to the the team of the tournament. Uh, yes, he, he was, but as a substitute, I don't even know what that means. Named to the team of the tournament as a substitute. It's almost like a bit of a slap in the face, really. Um Okay, uh, anyway, that is uh, two players that we're probably saying goodbye to, but we'll 
we'll just check and make sure. So Mohamed Kanate, our likely candidate, uh, made the team. And uh, Latina Frank Traore, I guess his injury, uh, his injury caught up with him. Oh, what am I doing here? Uh, there. So that's too bad. Uh, he's a bit of a loss there. Uh, Lamine Ouattara, one of our likely candidates, didn't make it. But the other one, Jabril Ouattara, did. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll quote him as a substitute here. Uh, but sad to see uh, Aristide Bans and Prejus Nakuma uh, not making it. Those veterans are off the team. So as I said at the top of the podcast, uh, we're saying goodbye to a lot of uh, players here, kind of goodbye to their golden generation. Uh, but we will go through the players uh, just to review and, and point out the most likely starters here. So going back to the manager, we have Cam Mallow. And uh, for goalkeepers, the uh, definite uh, the very much likely the starter is uh, Irv Coffey or Irv Kuaku Coffey. Uh, central defenders, uh, definite starter will be Asufu Deo. Uh, um, and um, possible starters, Edmund Tapsoba and Steve Yago, although uh, one of them may be playing out of position. Um, and I don't think... Yeah, okay. Um, left back, uh, it's hard to tell because none of them have played a lot. But uh, we think Patrick Nalo or Herman Nikiema are possible starters there. But as right back, uh, Isa Kabor, um, almost certain to start. And then we move to uh, defensive midfielders, and we have um, Gustavo Sang Sangare or Gustavo Sanger uh, as a, a likely starter. Uh, but we wave goodbye to some, some of the golden generation here, Charles Kabor in this case. Central midfielders, we consider Adama Guira a starter, and perhaps uh, Blati Toure. I kind of made a call between him and Dramin Nikiyama, but I'm favoring Blati Toure as a starter. Uh, on the left wing, Zachariah Tsunogo, and uh, possibly Hassan Bande uh, playing out of position, maybe as a attacking midfielder or forward. Uh, but definitely some of these right wingers will be playing out of position. So we have Eric Traore uh, and Bertrand Traore as, as certain starters or players we think who are going to start. And Abdul Tapsoba as a, a, a possible starter. Of course, they won't all be playing on the right wing. And uh, in the attacking midfielder, uh, we say goodbye to Abdu Razak Traore and Alain Traore, uh, but they haven't been replaced. So we think uh, the right wingers there will replace that position. And for forwards, um, oh, I'm going to put Mohamed Kanate as a possible starter. Uh, so again, some of those other players may come into this position. And we say goodbye to uh, uh, Aristide Bance and Prejus Nakuma. And we also uh, note it's unfortunate that uh, Lucine Frank Traore uh, didn't make the squad uh, due to injury um, there. So interesting stuff with Burkina Faso. And that brings us to the end. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'll sign out here. So thanks for listening, and uh, we hope this introduction helps you to enjoy watching the games of the African Cup. So that's the purpose of uh, the International Soccer Preview and, and uh, Soccer Files Canada, our group. Uh, and you can find our podcasts on our website at soccerfiles.captivate.fm. Uh, or you can search Soccer Files on Google. That's all one word with a PH in the middle. And it's plural, Soccer Files. Uh, and uh, soccerfiles at gmail.com is the way you can reach us. So thank you so much for listening. And I hope uh, we see you in one of our other player podcasts. All the best. Bye-bye.